<laughs> oh man, this sucks. So, uh, I was trying to make a gift for my girlfriend. There's gonna be another Baby Yoda. It's a very fan favorite. A lot of people want these, and I already gave the other first one I made away. It failed. Um, completely screwed up. And I already recognize this, and I'm like, it's hilarious that I always get problems on this model. But, <laughs> what's funny to me is, let's see if I can find it here. There it is. These pieces I printed first for a different project. It's a little part. Interesting little contraption. Printed fine. It was probably about a two-hour print, but there's not much to print. And I figured, okay, this is my test. You know, my bed loving is fine after I did, I replaced all the fans. As you can tell, it's a lot quieter. I was wrong. I was wrong because it's such a small print. When it gets to this taller print, I mean, you can even see uh, this line right here. It got off because probably bumped it over. This was never, you know, even close to the plate. The supports around it were off, and so I knew. So, we're going to level this bed. I'm going to show you guys how to do it on the version 2 of the CR-10S Pro. Um, I assume the version 1 is very similar. This piece right here, you want to make sure that this side and this side is perfectly straight and i bet you it's going to be very very much off and when it is off you go in the back here and you twist these guys right here so those are the ones you hold one and you twist the other and that's how you make this level so i'm going to go through that step first and then i'm going to show you guys what you do on the screen but this one's very self-explanatory just make sure you can stick this in over here it's just as tight as it is on the side makes it very level all right so by holding this end and twisting the other and vice versa i'm able to get this guy with the same amount of resistance on both sides there's very little bit of resistance on both sides that's exactly what i want you go back to the menu here go to leveling and you're gonna want to turn off auto leveling don't worry we'll turn it back on later but you want to first go back here what we're gonna do is people use a paper a lot and they recommend it Look, this file that comes in with your printer, it's two millimeters, exactly. And it's metal. You can feel the exact scratch and friction perfectly. I feel like much more than a piece of paper because I tried a piece of paper and it was not exact. And what you're going to do is you're going to be hitting all the zones and making sure you have the same exact resistance. You'll keep twisting the knobs. Once you do it once, go over a second time because this one will be a little bit thrown off after you move those. Then you do the third time and the fourth. And once you get that, the middle should be perfect. The Z axis should be exactly where it's supposed to be and your bed will be level. Once you do that, you should be good to go on all your prints, unless if you're moving your print around a lot like I did. So we hit aux leveling, which pretty sure it means auxiliary leveling. It's gonna do this little thing right here. It's gonna tap twice in the middle. Then once it does that, it's gonna lower it one more time without tapping. Just wait for it to do that, no rush. Don't be clicking on the screen yet. And I guess it's done, this is just two. So now what happens, and I tried to do this beforehand. I set my thing, I think that's about where it hits. I go to two. So he goes, he lowers, and then he's gonna go to two, and he's gonna go right there. Perfect, so you see, there's a whole bunch of room there. This needs to be lowered, so. I'm going to raise the bed. All right. I think you go a little tighter. That's to loosen it. All right. I have a little bit of friction. Just a little bit. I don't know if you can tell. So now we go to number three. Just select it right here. He moves over. Does the same thing. Same process. You turn the knob. See, this one is also all up in the air. Not supposed to be. It thinks it's two millimeters off. That's why my, my print failed. It was printing it too high. I'm gonna go through all of these, time up, set, and we'll be done. All right, now I'm not sure if you guys noticed, I only did the four corners. I never did the middle until at the end. And if I did the four corners all correctly, the middle should have a little bit of resistance. It should, you'd, your, the idea is rather to be tighter to the bed than looser. If it's too far away, bed leveling issues, you won't have good bed adhesion. Now, if you're too low, you'll damage your printer, as you see some scratches that I have here. 
Um, I have it pretty good, and once I've finished it, I always hit the home button. Remember, my auto leveling thing is off. Then I go hit measuring. So it's going to go through this long step phase. It's going to measure all of these zones, and it helps it. So as a noob, and maybe some of you guys will get this, you get this print, and you're like, oh, auto bed leveling. I'll never have to do this. No, you definitely need to, especially out of the box. After you do it, auto bed leveling, what it's going to do is there's minor and significant uh, changes to the eye that this guy can account for by doing this step every time before he prints, if I understand correctly. And it measures those and compensates for them. And with all of that, you get a nice, fairly level bed. Um, but it gets out of levelness sometimes. So much so that even the auto bed leveling can't account for. So this is very important. You got to do it once in a while. All right, so it finished it and went back to the main menu. You got a little bit of new numbers here. You thought we'd be done. I'm sorry, unfortunately. Wrong. So, uh, you're going to have to test this all out when it's heated now. Because metal expands and changes under different heats. Now, when you get to this stage, what you should be doing is when you get your move, you see it's a Z-axis is zero. This right here is 0.2 millimeters. So, I can just barely perfectly put this under there and i don't have issues just barely which means when it f prints my first 0.2 millimeter layer it's perfect that's the idea between all this leveling now i'm going to heat it up i'm going to test it again as i showed you guys before in the uh, manual leveling of the five zones i'm going to tell it measure again hit home and then i'm going to turn on auto bed leveling and should be ready for my test print to make sure this is right all right heat it up to 60 degrees, did the aux leveling, tweaked it very little bit, turning auto bed leveling back on, back, and then of course cooling it off because I don't need it hot. So, that is how I do it. Very thorough, very long process. If you think there's a better way to do it, go ahead, drop down comments below. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up and hit subscribe as always. Guys, I'll see you guys next video.